thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, apologize for salt at the start of the stream. Just, I don't know, the last few weeks have been really, really bad for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people that, frankly, should not under any circumstances, any circumstances, have been dragged into horrible situations, have been, you know, brought into it. Yeah, you know, I've, I've just been reading so much, so much inaccurate reporting from people that should know better. You know, article after article just attacking gamers. and It seems like there is a, an awful lot of controversy coming from people that, frankly, again, should know an awful lot better. And uh, we, with large audiences, have kind of been put in a hard place. We don't really know what to do. I Here's a here's a thing. I tried to put together a round table with a bunch of uh, high-profile games journalists. Things were, they were coming together, and then the Breitbart email leak happened, and everyone pulled out. Back to square one. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I don't. I I wish I did. I wish I I could tell you what to do, but uh, I'm just as annoyed and upset as I believe most gamers would be by the accusations that have been leveled against us through no fault of our own. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I really have to focus on like preparing for my upcoming surgery and getting better, but the last couple of weeks has been very depressing. Very yeah, really depressing. Uh, anyway. Yeah. We'll see, you know? Maybe they want to they keep poking the bear, then we'll see what happens, you know? We have... A lot of us have very, very large audiences, and we try to be responsible with the power that we hold. I think it's in the best interests of those that would write things like Gamers Are Dead to try and make sure that the Snorlax continues to slumber. But you never know. We'll see how this continues to develop. I'll say one thing, though. I, it, I'll say one thing before I go, right? You remember the whole XB1 Empath 13 thing? The YouTuber controversy, the Yolk Discovery stuff, and the the big kind of revelations about YouTubers taking money and everything like that. You know what YouTubers did when those revelations came around, the accusations were levy leveled? They actually talked about it. Like, they op they openly discussed it. And they did interviews. I, I did an interview with uh, Simon Parkin about this whole thing, and I gave him a lot of really good information. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be totally honest about this, because frankly, that is the way that I operate, and that's the way that a lot of us operate. And then accusations were leveled at games journalists. And what did they do? They circled the wagons, they closed ranks, and they, en masse, a wide variety of high-profile sites, decided to attack their own demographic. And that is why we're successful, and that is why they are struggling to pay rent. It's as simple as that. I'd say adapt or die, but frankly you should never have to adapt to being a transparent, decent human being. That should be a default position. And if anyone doesn't believe that, fuck them, frankly. And hey, what can I say? You know? We are the new games journalism. We're the new hotness. We're the guys with the audience. And if you're going to act like that, then... <laughs> Sorry, but you already lost. You're not our competition. We already won. Maybe you might want to take a few lessons from that. I'll see you next time.